Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we told you the one world currency is coming. And there's more indicators that China wants to be the nation that actually sets this new currency standard. They would like for their currency to be the currency of the world uh, or certainly be the one that sets the standard. Well, here's some information coming out of the examiner. Sources within China have provided new information that validates that the Far Eastern economy is now ready to com compete with or even overtake the U.S. dollar to replace it as the sole global reserve currency as early as September of this year, 2015. Wouldn't that be something? Right during the fourth and final blood moon of this four blood moon tetrad. A super blood moon at that. Well, uh, having already completed a message of interchange system that mirrors the same as the West, the Chinese equivalent of SWIFT is now ready and is expected to be fully operational by the third quarter of 2015, which will allow other nations to transact with the world's largest economy without the need to purchase dollars as a medium of exchange. In other words, no longer will the world have to go through the dollar as the medium through the, of the exchange process. They can start using the uh, exchange uh, from China. Now, additionally, there has been a great deal of speculation over the past two years that China might back their currency with gold, the gold standard once they are fully ready to float it as a global reserve, with strong indications showing that at the very least, China will be calling for the use of international letters of credit or trade notes that are backed by gold to help stabilize transactions using the historical form of sound money. And there is a quote, Today we got proof that it is the second outcome that is about to prevail following a Reuters report that China's international payment system, known simply enough as China International Payment System, which serves to process cross-border yen or yarn transactions, is ready and may be launched as early as September or October. And according to Reuters, the launch of that will remove one of the biggest hurdles of internationalizing the currency should greatly global usage of Chinese currency by cutting transaction costs and the processing times. Uh, this will put the Chinese currency, folks, as the currency reserve of the world. Does that make it a one world currency? No. It replaces the U.S. dollar with the currency of China. But what it does do, it sets, it, it sets a system up that can be easily transitioned into a new currency. Matter of fact, uh, Mike around the world said that the new computer systems, banking computer systems coming out in the January of 2016 do not include the dollar. It's not on the software, it does not include the dollar as the reserve currency. So this thing is going to happen. Now, I'm going to try to get a hold of Fabian Calvo, have him back on as a guest here real soon, because there's two questions. Is this reserve, you know, because he's he wrote the book called The Global Reset, and six times in history, the world's economy the, the world currency, driving the currency standard, has reset six times in history. Every major empire at one time or another was the leading standard for the global economy. Uh, we're talking the Babylonian Empire, the Persian Empire, the Roman Empire, uh, the British Empire, the Ottoman Empire, and now the, the American Empire. 
All six of those have had the leadership of the currency. The last time it changed, it reset, was World War II when they went from the British Empire to the American Empire uh, standard. And we're about ready to see a seventh reset. And I told him, I said, seven is, the, of course, the complete number of God. It would not shock me if the seventh reset is the one world currency. It could be that China's uh, currency, it becomes the one world currency. Not just a gold standard, not just a reserve standard, but the standard or the money mechanism. It may be communist China, atheistic. Oh, communism has always been atheistic. It would fit right into that new world order plan, the plan of the beast that is in the book of Revelation. I've been saying you're going to have a one world government, a one world leader, an antichrist. You're going to have a one world religion and a one world currency that is managed by the mark of the beast system. But I truly believe that the first thing we get will be the one world currency, that we'll actually have a one world currency before we have a new world order or a one world government. The first leg of this table will be the currency. Everyone will still have their own sovereign nations, but we'll all be under a one world currency, and that will be first. And folks, that may be coming a whole lot closer than you and I want to envision. Are you saved? Because we are truly running out of time. I'll be right back with more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. Matter of fact, I actually want you to know, I kind of feel led I should do this, so I will. Let's pick up the Bible for one second and just read a couple verses right out of Revelation as we talk about this uh, Mark of the Beast system. You'll get a currency even before you get a Mark of the Beast system. You're going to get used to a one world currency first. Uh, I truly believe this is part of what you're going to get. In Revelation 13, it talks about this beast, seven-headed beast. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. And the horns were ten crowns, and upon his heads the name blasphemy. There are seven continents. They're going to all be under a one-world government. And the continents will be divided into, seven, into ten sectors, which is exactly how the playbook of the Illuminati each sector will be given a king. That king will wear a crown. That crown is an antichrist spirit of blasphemy. There'll be no Christianity or, in their mind, Judaism in the world. Only Israel will be standing alone outside of this system, refusing to be a part of the new world order, which is what's going to set up the great war of Gog and Magog. But having said that, that's Revelation 13. Here's what it talks about when it says in the same chapter, verse 16. I'm in Revelation 13, 16. And he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads that no man might buy or sell, save he that have had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred, three score, and six, or six, six, six. Folks, we're getting ever so close to this uh, process. It's already shaping up. The one world religion, the one world shadow government, the one world government, there will be a one world leader, the Antichrist, with his sidekick, the false prophet. And there will be a one world currency managed by the mark of the beast global system. The currency is going to come first. It's what I'm predicting. And I believe it's based by the biblical scriptures. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ because we are in the beginning of sorrows. And all the apocalyptic signs are pointing to the end.